This is Jolie here for Seconds Out, joined by Dennis Hobson. It's been a while since we've spoken, Dennis, but it's only right. We had a show in Leeds 10 days ago, um, and I thought we should catch up now. How are you? All good, pal. Thank you. Yeah, still at it, still juggling and spinning a few plates. But, um, you know, I, I love being busy and, uh, and uh, you know, boxing's a roller coaster. And we have got one or two nice things in the pipeline, which will uh, unfold in the next uh, few days. Towards the end of this week, I think we'll be putting a bit of a uh, press statement out there and telling the boxing world what, what his next plans are. And some titles are going to be on the line in the next couple of shows that we're going to be doing in the next two months. OK, so busy, as you say. Do we know mm -hmm. where the shows are going to be? Is that something that people can... Yeah, you know, we've got with? November the 19th, um, and we're adding to that um, we're, we're adding to that show. We've got Keenan Wainwright and Perry Howe in title fights, and then we've got a... Uh, um, we've got two lady title fights coming up, and one of them might be a world title. And right. One of them's a European for sure. And um, and the other one is going to be Kirsty Bannington is going to be uh, defending a European, and we're hoping we've got a world title on that show as well. Um, so there's, there's going to be titles galore on November the 19th at the Magna. So it's it's going to be a stacked card. There's going to be about ten fights on there, and I think there's about four title fights on there. So it's a proper quality card, is that? Good. What's the uh, latest with Hannah Rankin? Do we know anything? She's she um, she's she 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 was obviously very disappointed. She didn't feel that she um, she she did herself justice because up to the up to the fight, up to the fight, she's been um, she's been one thing. And let me just get rid of this. Um, she she was looking fantastic and looking sleek, and um, we were really happy with her. Um, but she stiffened up when she got in there a little bit. I think you were in lack of experience at that level. Um, she knows what she's got to do to beat fighters like Terry. And, uh, we, you know, if, if we did the fight next week, I'd fancy, um, I'd fancy Anna to beat Terry again because I, I don't think she'd caught with a punch power, but she got cut early. We thought she might get outboxed uh, early on, but once she felt the power of Anna... Uh, we thought that Anna would get to her, but the cut affected her distance, tight, you know, judging her distance. Uh, but like I said, she wasn't flowing. She looked a bit stiff, and I think that was Anna's experience. And when she got caught, she... Um, uh, when she got caught, she, um, she, didn't, she didn't handle it as well as we, we thought she might have. But when she got caught and, and we didn't realise the eye was affecting... Uh, distance and, and she got a blurred vision in that eye and which were all new to her uh, so if she'd had that extra experience she'd have she'd have caught with that a little bit better but um, all experience she's still a big name in boxing <coughs> she's a commodity she's doing all a punditry and uh, 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 if anything I think her stock's still gone up because she were on a big show a big, big platform she didn't disgrace herself and she she lost by a couple of rounds which uh, rightly so but she wasn't totally out of the fight and she, she frightened Terry to death a couple of times when she caught her and Terry went on a bike and she showed her experience by getting on the bike and, um, and Anna couldn't capitalise on it. When do you think she could be fighting for titles again, Dennis? Um, I think by, I'd say maybe the first, by the end of the first quarter of next year. Okay, so good stuff to look forward to still for Anna. It's um, not over yet. I'm, I'm very confident she will be. Uh, March or April, I think she will be in for another world title. Good to hear. As for Matt Windle, uh, obviously, as you say, like flyweight, coming on champion now. Um, what's next for him? Is he going to go upwards to an intercontinental? Is he going to defend that in, in your eyes? What happens next? No, because we've made a little bit of history again there. He's, he's the first kid, I think, like fly from these shores. Uh, to win a light fly Commonwealth title in is it over 100 years or something like that? Um, and he's been it just shows perseverance, you know, he's, he's, he's a poet laureate outside the ring. He's, he's got he's got a fantastic brain, obviously, to be a poet laureate and 
and he just holds himself so well, but he's so uh, tenacious as regards, I get knocked down, but I get up again. He got beat, and then he comes back and wins a Commonwealth in a, an absolute barnstormer. So, yeah, we're going to defend that. And uh, I've just been on the phone to my good friend, Stephen Vaughan, who, who sponsored that show, that fight. And um, it looks like we're going to Gibraltar in February to defend that title. And, uh, and that'll be shown live on Faison. Brilliant. That's going to be exciting stuff. Look forward to watching that. Um, what can we expect next year? Obviously, we saw the car park stuff. Um, are we going to continue that theme in the future? Uh, how far are we off that again? That was like the Glastonbury of boxing, weren't it? <laughs> they were they good were times. Festival atmosphere, wasn't it? And, uh, <laughs> and I think uh, I'd love to do it again. They're not obviously exp they're expensive to put together, but it was a bit unique and in, in the timing that it was, as regards, we were still in, in the middle of a, a, a lockdown period, mm -hmm. which, and it got people out again and people uh, feeling good about themselves again. So it was a special time. I'd still, I'd still like to recreate something like that if we could, you know, maybe do two or three weekends um, where we're putting some quality cars together outside because it was a special thing that we created in a car park and it would just, it just come together. And a lot of people came together. It, it, it was great. It was like a coming out party, but not one of them coming out parties <laughs> in, the bo in the boxing sense. In the boxing world, it definitely was. I um, <clears throat> just want to get your thoughts on another couple of topics in the boxing world. Obviously, we were meant to see uh, AJ versus Fury fight. And uh, once again, the boxing world and the politics lets us down. Do you believe this fight was was ever close for December 3rd? I'd like to think so. Um, and I th I do really think, obviously, Tyson's a fighting man. And uh, AJ is. But like you said, the politics get involved. And, um, and maybe <clears throat> there were some caveats in some um, endorsement deal. If, if for example, if, if, if Joshua wins another fight, uh, lose, sorry, loses another fight, that'd be three on the trot. Does it affect his endorsements? Mm -hmm. Maybe. So does he need another win before he fights Tyson? Uh, I don't know. So there's the intricacy of that. But if there is something like that, why don't we be straight up and tell us? Um, I think it's a great fight. I think it's got to happen at some stage. But if it goes on for any longer than 12 months, it will have lost its sparkle. Um, and, you know, Tyson might not be there. I think he's, for me, I think Tyson's maybe got two or three more fights in him. I, I would hope, part of me hope so, because I don't want him to go on forever. He's proved everything. Um, but the Joshua Fury fight's got to happen, surely. Yeah, what do you make of Fury Chisora 3? <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I quite worry about Derek a little bit now. I don't want him to fight anymore. Um, he might think, well, what, what's it? why is he worried? Well, I am worried about anybody who puts the life on the line in, in the ring. And if he asked me, I'd tell him. Um, and um, I've just been on with Dave Allen, uh, speaking to Dave Allen this evening. He's still got one or two fights left in him uh, hey. at high, high level. But he, um, he's just had a little girl, bless her. And, um, you know, he's still got the hunger to have a couple of big fights. But, you know, I'll be monitoring Dave because I still think he's still got a big win in him um, if he conditions himself right and gets the right preparation for a fight. I think, you know, for example, Chisora Dave Allen, what a fight that would be. Um, <laughs> but but I, I don't want Dave and Derek to go on for much longer. I, uh, I definitely don't, would like to see Derek not, not fight again because I think he's proved everything uh, and he's a tough, tough man and I, don't want, it, I want him to be healthy enough to, to enjoy uh, the, the rightful money that he's earned already. Yeah, I, Dave Allen versus Shaw is actually a really good fight. I think if Chisora loses, which everyone expects against Fury, that fight can be made anyway. Um, so are we looking at Dave Allen returning, I guess, another return again soon then? Against? Soon. Hey, oh, against Dave, soon. Dave, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just talking to him now. He's, he's, he's been 
he's been been a dad for the last uh, couple of months. Yeah. So um, he's he's uh, but now he's itching to get his his gloves on and and uh, obviously he's got his own little stable where he's what's what's growing nicely with some good kids. Um, and uh, I I want to be there. I want to be in the corner with Dave when he fights next. And he is capable, like I say, you know, of being in the top five in 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 the UK uh, with a big win. So and and we've got arguably the best heavyweights in the world uh, as regards the top the top ten. Really, uh, we've got we've got a lot of kids in the top ten, and I think Dave is still capable of breaking through there. And uh, and like I say, having a big win. You've seen Lucas Brown just come back with a good win. So and look what look what Dave did to him. So he's still he's still a name, but we've got to get back out there. So Dad, Dave's got to stop being a dad. Let's get a, let's get in the gym. Let's get conditioned, and let's get a big win out there and make a big statement. Well, it's a good way to end it, Dennis. It's been a while since we spoke, but hopefully, if uh, if you can promote a uh, Dave Allen versus Cesaro, then we'll see each other soon. <laughs> Listen, it's always a pleasure to you to see you. You've got great energy, and uh, I think you're going to be one of the top journalists in this game. While you decide. You've got the appetite for it. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it, Dennis.